Mirror Transformation um, was written by a playwright named Annie Baker. Um, and she's just a wonderful, she's probably one of the best sort of voices in American playwriting that we have today. And she's young. I mean, she wrote this play. She, she grew up in Amherst, Massachusetts. And she wrote this play maybe about 10 years after she graduated from, from Amherst, Mass. And the play itself is about um, a uh, community uh, sort of uh, acting class that's held in this sort of fictitious town of Shirley, Vermont. And um, the town itself is, because she sort of grew up in Amherst, really has like, it has like Amherst and the Pioneer Valley written all over it. I mean, it's really that, you get that sense of that, it's, that it could have happened here uh, in, the, in the Pioneer Valley. But it's about these um, four participants in this class and the instructor in the, in the, in the class. And the, sh and the play itself is a series of, uh, follows them over a series of weeks in this class so really the audience gets to be kind of like a fly on the wall as they're watching this introductory acting class but the power of the play um, has a lot to do with the um, the discoveries that the audience makes about the participants of the class and their lives and their relationships to each other so although it's sort of like you're looking at it through this lens of sort of introductory acting exercises what you really are discovering is just who these people are and the and and the powers of of you know sort of human connection and interaction as they sort of work together over the over the course of the play. What you do is as you're watching it, you're recognizing within the lives of the characters things that you can kind of relate to um, for yourself. You know, like because this is a play about you know people with lives and relationships and families and. Uh, frustrations and hopes and dreams that were either realized or not realized and all of those things come out in this play and so that's what I think the audience kind of comes away with is that is the dynamic of watching these people and making discoveries and making realizations about or decisions about one character that as the play progresses they realize wow I was really wrong about them or you know that as you begin to delve more deeply into their lives and who they are sort of do that much for me. But each time I sort of went back and kind of looked at it, I realized, wow, there's more to this play than I was thinking that there was. You know, sometimes when you read a play, um, you know, people talk about a play uh, working much better when you sort of see it up on its feet than when you actually sort of read it. And I think this is one of those kinds of plays, partly because the power uh, of this material has a lot to do with what's not said almost more than what is said. Just an amazing cast of actors for this play and a wonderful director, Ellen um, Kaplan, um, is directing this play and during the year she's the chair of the theater department um, here at Smith and I've worked with her on a number of occasions and so I gave her the play to, to sort of look at and she sort of fell in love with the play and the, 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 this particular cast are just some really wonderful actors. Some of them have done other shows at New Century Theatre before, and some of them this is their first time ever sort of being here, um, including um, Maya Rivera, who plays the character of Lauren in this play, and she is, coincidentally, she just graduated from Amherst, from Amherst Regional High School, where Annie Baker went to school, and she came in to our auditions and just sort of blew us all away. We just realized the minute she walked out of that room, we thought, there's our, you know, that's our Lauren. And, um, and that's what's very exciting about this whole process for me is, you know, often, you know, a show is, can only be as good sometimes as the cast of, of actors and the talent that you have. And this is a really great group of folks. The particular set, the set design for this play is just this wonderful set design. Um, Sean Hill and Amy Putnam, um, who are married, um, did a co-design on the on this production, and they just done this amazing, wonderful, kind of almost a circular sort of type of of room for this play, Circle Mirror, and I think it works really, really well. So, if, I mean, I think if anything, their approach to this this design may be different than other productions in terms of what it looks like. I think this is a kind of play. And I think most of the shows that we're doing this summer are are the type of play that raise a lot of sort of different issues and get audiences talking. I think this is going to be a kind of play where the audience leaves, they're going to 
there's going to be a lot that they're going to want to talk about with each other on the way home. You know, I don't think everybody's going to maybe even agree. There, there are certain things that are intentionally uh, uh, not, not necessarily resolved, but not there's there's a, a vagueness oftentimes to the some of the things that happen in this play, so that you have to sort of draw your own conclusions, or the audience kind of has to do the math. You know, so that they go, ooh, that must have been having to do with that character, and I think that had to do with that character. But it's not necessarily spelled out. So you have to, as an audience member, participate and make that decision. You have to decide for yourself, oh, okay, and put it all together. And I think that our, our audiences will enjoy kind of talking about it afterwards and kind of making that kind of realization. My theme for the, for the season, as I put, put together all of, of the four shows, I realized that each of the four plays that I have all deal in some way with this, with what I'm calling sort of the search, a search for common ground. You know, I mean, plays all, all deal with, you know, conflict and disagreement and stuff like that. But each of these plays tend to look at characters who are coming from very, very different places and different points of view. But behind it is this desire to sort of find a connection, to find a, some common ground. Um, with individuals who have, you know, different points of view.